What's going on YouTubers? Today I'm going to teach you how to polyurethane a tabletop. This is a tabletop I've been working on for a while. Bought some rough coat lumber, put this together, and it was maple wood. And I have already put probably three coats of polyurethane on this. I'm getting to the final touch and I figured I'd show you a video of how I do it. Maybe it'll help you guys out. So once you get to that final coat, you can start to fill just a little bit of bumps on the final clear coat areas. So just kind of wipe your hands through it, kind of fill the water. You notice a little bit of ups and downs from the polyurethane. And we're going to use some steel wool to kind of sand those out. And then we're going to put one more coat of polyurethane on this. Let it set probably for two, maybe three days until it's good and cure. Then I'll do a video of show you how to polish my wood. Yeah. Now, polish this wood. Get your mind now together. All right, so once you're ready, get your steel wool. I use a real fine steel wool. I think it's uh, four zero, and that should get your small bumps off the uh, polyurethane that you just did. And just start. I start at the center and go with the grain, just back and forth. Put a little bit of elbow grease. You don't have to scrape it all off, but you want to make sure you get those bumps off. And then you can kind of feel that most of those bumps are gone. And if you still feel a little bit, do it again. Because this is going to be the last coat of polyurethane. And you want this baby to be as smooth as could be. So that way, whenever you're sitting at your dining room table or your coffee tables, and you put your hands on it, you're like, man, that shit's slick. So. Okay, after you sand or use steel wool to uh, scrape off all those uh, little bubbles off of your uh, piece of furniture, then you want to get all the remaining dust off. And I like to use a microfabric cloth. It helps gather up all this little dust areas that you can see right here. And uh, just make sure you go through it real good and wipe that off. I don't want any of that left behind. Because if you leave it behind, it will be on you. So this is the polyurethane that I like to use. It's a semi-gloss. Just brush it on. Use a sponge brush or a hand brush. Either one will work. I like to use a hand brush. I know a lot of people like to use foam brushes. To me, it doesn't matter one way or another. Just make sure your brush brushes don't fall out or that will leave uh, marks in your finish. But to me, it works just as much. It's a little easier for me to use the brush than it is the foam brush. Just nice and easy coats.
So, give you a quick overview of what it looks like after I put that other coat of polyurethane on. It's a little dark out here in the barn, but... Hopefully you can see how nice and shiny that thing's looking. And then... Once she dries, we'll give her a good polish job. As you can see, we got this done. Got the hopefully the last final coat of polyurethane on. When she's done drying for about two to three days, we'll come back and I'll show you guys how to get this wood nice and polished, make it shine like glass. Until then, Check you guys out next time. Don't forget to subscribe, leave some comments. Till then, later!